this video helpful please like subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications hello guys for today our topic is linear independence and dependence so a system of vectors is linearly independent if we have a trivial solution for a homogeneous system so if this is vector v1 and this is vector v2 then their point of intersection will be at the origin and for r3 also their point of intersection will be at the origin so all the variables are zero here that is x is equals to y is equals to 0 or x1 is equals to x2 is equals to x3 is equals to 0. Now for a set of vectors v1, v2, v3 up to vn, vector equation will be x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 plus up to xn vn is equals to 0 and this will have a trivial solution if and only if all the scalars are 0 that is x1 is equals to x2 is equals to x3 is equals to up to xn is equals to 0. So if x1, x2, x3 up to xn are 0 then we will have a trivial solution. Now for a matrix equation ax is equals to 0 where a is v1 v2 v3 up to vn times x1 x2 up to xn is equal to 0 0 0 then if each and every column of a matrix a is a pivot column then also we will have a trivial solution and a set of vectors will be linearly independent so if each and every column of a matrix a is a pivot column then we will have trivial solution a set of vector is linearly dependent if we have a non-trivial solution for a homogeneous system which means that we must have at least one non-zero variable then only we will have non-trivial solution or for a set of vectors v1 v2 v3 up to vn vector equation will be x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 plus up to xn vn is equals to 0 such that not all the scalars that is x1 x2 x3 up to xn are 0 then only we will have non-trivial solution so if not all scalars are 0 then we will have non-trivial solution means a set of vector is linearly dependent or if a set of vectors v1 v2 v3 up to vn has a zero vector that is if any one vector or at least one vector is a zero vector then also set of vectors will be linearly dependent so let's take vector v2 is equals to 0 that is 0 vector which can be written as 0 times v1 plus 1 times v2 plus 0 times v3 up to 0 times vn is equals to 0 and this is the linear combination of v1 v2 v3 up to vn where at least one scalar 
that is x2 here is non-zero. So x2 is 1 here which is non-zero. So set of vectors will be linearly dependent. Now for ax is equals to 0 where matrix A is equal V1, V2, V3 up to Vn. These are the columns of matrix A. Then if not every column is a pivot column then also a set of vectors will be linearly dependent. So if not every column is a pivot column that is at least one column should be a non-pivot column. So if we have at least one column that is non-pivot column then we will have infinitely many solutions means vectors are collinear. So if vectors are collinear then a set of vectors will be linearly dependent. For example if in RREF we have a matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 then the leading entry for row 1 and 2 are 1 and these are the pivots and pivots are the only non-zero entry in their respective columns so these two columns are pivot column and third column is a non-pivot column means x3 is associated with this column so x3 is a free variable which is associated with non-pivot column. So if we have at least one non-pivot column then we will have, have infinitely many solutions means vectors are collinear. So if vectors v1 and v2 are collinear which means v1 is equals to x2 v2 or v1 is equals to some scalar times vector v2 like if this is vector v1 and this is vector v2 then we can see that v1 is equal 2 times of v2 and 2 is some scalar here so now this can be written as v1 minus x2 v2 is equals to 0 which is a linear combination of v1 and v2 where x1 is equals to 1 and is not equals to 0. So at least one is scalar that is x1 is non-zero here. So a set of vector will be linearly dependent. Also if in a m into n matrix if n is greater than m or columns are more than rows then also the set of vectors will be linearly dependent. For example in a matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 2 of order 3 by 4 here leading entries are 1 for row 1, 2 and 3 and leading entries are the only non-zero entries in their respective columns. So column 1, 2 and 3 will be pivot columns. So for 3 rows we can get maximum of 3 pivot columns. So we will get 1 non-pivot column. So fourth column is non-pivot column and x4 is associated with this column. So x4 is a free variable here. So we can write fx4 for non-pivot column. So if columns are more than rows then also a set of vectors will be linearly dependent. Also a set of vector is linearly dependent if in a set of vectors 
v1, v2, v3 up to vn, we have at least one vector that is a linear combination of other vectors. Or we can say that at least one vector is in span of other vectors. Then also set of vectors will be linearly dependent. For example, vector v1 is 1, 2, vector v2 is 4, 5 and vector v3 is 3, 3. Then linear combination is x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 is equals to 0. And we can see here that minus 1 times v1 plus v2 will give us v3. So we can put the values for v1 and v2 here. And if we solve them, then we will get vector v3. So we can say that v3 is a linear combination of v1 and v2. Or if we add v1 plus v3, then we will get v2. So we can say that v2 is a linear combination of v1 and v3. Similarly, if we subtract v2 and v3, then we will get v1. So we can say that v1 is a linear combination of v2 and v3. So in this case, a set of vectors will be linearly dependent. For example, in a set of vectors v1, v2 and v3, let v2 be a linear combination of v1 and v3 such that v2 is equals to x1 v1 plus x3 v3. Now eliminate x2. So we will get x2 minus x2 is equals to x1 v1 minus v2 plus x3 v3. That is 0 is equal x1 v1 minus v2 plus x3 v3 or x1 v1 minus x2 plus x3 v3 is equals to 0. So x2 is minus 1 here, non-zero scalar. So even if x1 and x3 both are 0, then also we will have at least one non-zero scalar. That is x2 is non-zero here. So set of vectors will be linear dependent. Now linear combination of v1, v2 and v3 is equal c1, v1 plus c2, v2 plus c3, v3 or c1, v1 plus c2. Now put the value of v2 which is x1, v1 plus x3, v3. So x1, v1 plus x3, v3 plus c3, v3. Now open the bracket and we will get c1, v1 plus c2, x1, v1 plus c2, x3, v3 plus c3, v3. Now add the like terms and we will get c1 plus c2, x1 times v1 plus c2 x3 plus c3 times v3 and these are some scalars. So span v1, v2, v3 is contained in span v1 and v3. So linear combination of v1, v2, v3 will be same or will be equal to the linear combination of v1 and v3. So we can just ignore the vector v2 here. 
so we will get span of v1 and v3 now let's take vector v1 is equal 1 0 0 v2 is equal 2 1 minus 2 and v3 is equal minus 1 4 5 now determine if the set of vectors v1 v2 v3 is linear dependent or linear independent as we know that ax is equals to 0 or x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 is equals to 0 are the matrix equation or the vector equations respectively where a is equal vector v1 v2 v3 that is 100 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 4 5 so in augmented form it will be 100 0, 2 1 minus 2 minus 1 4 5 0 0 0 now let's eliminate minus 2 so rho r3 can be written as 2 r2 plus r3 so we will get 1 2 minus 1 0 1 4 0 0 13 0 0 0 now scale rho 3 as 1 by 13 rho 3 and we will get 1 2 minus 1 0 1 4 0 0 1 0 0 0 now eliminate 4 so rho 2 can be written as rho 2 minus 4 times rho 3 that is 1 2 minus 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 now eliminate 2 so r1 can be written as r1 minus 2 times of r2 that is 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 now eliminate minus 1 so r1 can be written as r1 plus r3 so we will get 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 so leading entries for row 1 2 and 3 are 1 so these are the pivots and pivot is the only non-zero entry in their respective columns so all these three columns are pivot column so in this case since every column is a pivot column therefore we will have a trivial solution means the values of x1 x2 and x3 will be zero so we can check this from row 1 we will get x1 plus 0 x2 plus 0 x3 is equals to 0 that is x1 is equals to 0 from second row we will get 0 x1 plus x2 plus 0 x3 is equals to 0 that is x2 is equals to 0 and from third row we will get 0 x1 plus 0 x2 plus x3 is equals to 0 that is x3 is equals to 0 so the values of x1 x2 x3 are 0 so we got the trivial solution therefore the set of vectors v1 v2 v3 is linearly independent let's take another example with v1 is equal 1 4 minus 2 v2 is equal 0 minus 3 1 v3 is equal minus 2 1 1 so the linear combination is x1 v1 plus x2 v2 plus x3 v3 is equals to 0 so x1 1 4 minus 2 plus x2 0 minus 3 1 plus x3 minus 2 1 1 is equal 0 0 0 so in matrix form it will be 1 4 minus 2 0 minus 3 1 minus 2 1 1 this is vector v1 v2 v3 now eliminate 4 so row 2 can be written as 4 times of r1 minus r2 that is 1 0 minus 2 0 3 minus 9 
minus 2 1 1 now eliminate minus 2 so r3 can be written as 2 times of r1 plus r3 that is 1 0 minus 2 0 3 minus 9 0 1 minus 3 now scale r2 as one third of r2 and we will get 1 0 minus 2 0 1 minus 3 0 1 minus 3 now r3 can be written as r3 minus r2 and we will get 1 0 minus 2 0 1 minus 3 0 0 0 so the leading entries for row 1 and 2 are 1 and these are the pivots and pivot is the only non-zero entry so they are the pivot columns so column 1 and 2 are pivot columns so we can write px1 and px2 and the third column is a non-pivot column and free variable is associated with non-pivot column so x3 is a free variable here so which is associated with non-pivot column so at least one column is non-pivot column here so we will get infinitely many solutions so when we have at least one non-pivot column then we will have many solutions so therefore the set of vectors v1 v2 v3 in this case is linearly dependent also minus two times vector v1 minus three times vector v2 is equal v3 so we can say that vector v3 is a linear combination of v1 and v2 therefore v3 is in a span of v1 and v2 so we can just ignore v3 so span of v1 v2 v3 is contained in span v1 and v2 therefore span of v1 v2 v3 is equal span of v1 and v2 so we can just ignore v3 so therefore the set of vectors v1 v2 v3 is linearly dependent so if a vector is a linear combination of other vectors then the set of vectors is linearly dependent our next topic is subspace of rn thanks for watching